and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10, I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we're talking the top 10 insane things found in basements. How exciting! I mean, what is lurking down there? Guys, you're about to find out. Also, speaking of lurking down there, in the description box down below you're going to find a link to our Patreon. If you want to support Most Amazing Top 10, then feel free to donate. Me, Danny and Landon are going to be doing all kinds of crazy Patreon only things, so get yourself over there. Okay. Back to the basements. Coming into number 10, we have Samar as well. Have you guys seen the movie The Ring? If so, wouldn't you run and hide as far as you possibly could away from this basement? I mean, ah! In 2015, Reddit user Colin Tendo shared a link to his imger saying, I have the ring in my basement. And on closer inspection, yeah, yeah he does. That's the ring's well right there in the basement. I mean, I would say Colin, get out of there bro, or she probably will come and kill you in seven days. <laughs> Coming into number nine, we have a whole kitchen. How well off do you have to be to discover an entire servant's kitchen in your house that you'd never even noticed until now? I mean, seriously. This is quite the discovery. This is exactly what happened to Archie and Philippa Graham Palmer as they explored their property in Wales. Graham Palmer, I mean, they sound rich, don't they? Archie said that the basement had been a dumping ground for years and it is thought that the room lay unused for a hundred years. Imagine having that much living space, oh my goodness. The kitchen was found behind some old junk and was left virtually untouched with pots and pans still on the walls and cookbooks on the shelves. From a kitchen in a basement to the basement of a restaurant with a sick sense of humour, at number 8 we have a creepy gathering of dolls. Redditor Gravity Boy posted, found this in the basement of a restaurant I went to last night. Now the restaurant in question turns out to be Hanny's in Phoenix, Arizona. One fellow Redditor looked at the picture and said, it looks like Anna Annabelle's reunion, which to be honest it totally does. It turns out that this is an art installation, but I really wouldn't want to be the one that interrupts this illicit miniature game of craps. I also hear that the restaurant has very interesting toilets in this location, but the dolls, the dolls really freak me out. Coming into number 7, we have a 150 year old signed photo of Abraham Lincoln. Can you imagine cleaning out your grandmother's basement to discover signed photographs of one of America's most famous presidents? On top of that, it was in an album with photos of other senators and cabinet members and there were signatures. This is a piece of American history right here. So this is exactly what happened to a woman who appeared on British TV show The Antiques Roadshow. Presenter Wes Cowan valued the album at, wait for it, $100,000 which is a pretty big basement find. Coming into number 6 we have a priceless art piece. A dusty old painting was found in a basement of a deceased elderly couple in New Jersey in 2016. This small painting was just 9 inches tall and was discarded as worthless, but it actually turned out to be a painting by celebrated Dutch artist Rembrandt. The painting, called The Unconscious Patient, was spotted by two eagle eyed art dealers and sold for $870,000 at auction, which actually is very very cheap for a Rembrandt which have traditionally been going for millions. Imagine $870,000 in your basement. Whew. The painting dates back to the mid 1600s and has since been put on display at the Getty Museum. Museum. Coming into number 5, we have a 90 kilo alligator. In 2016, an alligator was discovered living in a basement by a repairman who was working in a man's house in Lansing, Illinois. The gator had apparently been living down there for 26 years when he was discovered. I mean, imagine keeping an alligator in your basement for 26 years. The reptile belongs to Charles Price, who said that he walked it in his garden and fed it chicken breast. The gator had grown to 6 feet long when he was discovered by the worker. He was later seized and taken to an animal shelter, but like, imagine being the repair guy going down to someone's house and finding a gator in their basement. Seriously. Anyone for severed puppet heads at number 4. Hurrah! So this is another reddit classic. A redditor posted that they found this horrifying array in their basement behind the furnace. Some of you may say how did they not know that this was behind the heater, but some people on this list had no idea they were housing a full kit. Kitchen, so. so here we have an array of disembodied puppet heads tied together with strings. Hip hip hooray for the person who constructed this to scare the living bejesus out of future residents. Oh, 
great. And number three, we have a mass grave. When new owners of a home formerly resided in by Benjamin Franklin moved in, they found the grim discovery of 1,200 bone fragments in the soil below their basement. The house on Craven Street in London had fragments of bone dating back to the exact time when Benjamin Franklin lived there in the 1700s. It turns out that one of the founding forefathers of America wasn't a murderer, he just let this house be used as a secret anatomy school at the time. Back then dissecting bodies was illegal, so it was all in the name of science, which I can respect. Coming into number two, this is really sad actually, we have prisoners and kidnap victims. It's really horrible, but often sickos use their basements to keep people captive. Often their hostages go unnoticed for sometimes decades. So this is exactly what Joseph Fritzl did. When she was just 18, Joseph Fritzl lured his daughter into the basement of their home in Austria and kept her there for 24 years. Unbeknownst to her, he had been building a secret lair to trap her in. To get to the cell in which his daughter Elizabeth was trapped in, Fritz or anyone looking for the secret space had to cross five locked rooms. The cell had two sleeping areas, basic cooking functions, and a bathroom. Elizabeth gave birth to seven children down there and was eventually discovered when one of the children fell ill and was allowed to go out to hospital. When police raided the home, they made the grim discovery in the basement. So I just wanted to end off this list with a really happy one at number one. So this is good. Yeah, I know there have been things that have been valued at more, but imagine making this discovery. At number one, we have $23,000 of cold hard cash discovered in a basement. A couple in Cleveland discovered $23,000 in cash hidden in a suitcase in the ceiling of their basement. The couple in their 30s were remodeling their home when they found the little green suitcase containing the money. The cash was dated between 1928 and 1934 and was found wrapped in wax paper with a newspaper article from the 1950s. The couple counted up all of the cash bundled into 20s and 50s and invested the money into their mortgage. I'm not sure that that's how I would spend a windfall of 23k. I don't know. How would you spend it if you suddenly found $23,000 in your house? What would you do with it? So there we have it. That was the top 10 insane things found in basements. What is the weirdest thing that you've ever found in your home? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm Rebecca Felgate. If you like this video, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribe for more top 10 lists and our Patreon link is in the description. So I'll see you guys over there. Bye!